All right, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at the Goblin Shaman uh, for fantasy. This is the single pose, uh, multi, well, multi part plastic um, blister guy. So, I started off with a gray spray paint and uh, Mornfang Brown is going to be put on um, all the leather bits and the little loincloth there. Um, I chose to do this first because I figured it was going to be a bit messier and I could easily touch up the uh, the green bits, you know, that are the skin parts after. I'm going to be showing this all in four times video speed and uh, the paints I used will be all at the end as well as throughout. So uh, dryad bark for the uh, wooden pole there and uh, as well you can check out my blog. Um, I'll have all the still images of the painting guide uh, posted there. So just check the uh, video notes and you'll see that. Okay, so now I'm going on to gray for the uh, the rock here, and uh, so I'm going to use a Mechanis uh, standard gray, kind of a medium gray that I'll use some washes to tone down a little bit. Okay, Zandri dust uh, coming on here for the uh, bone bits. Uh, so you got that little skull, it's like a little pot, I guess, of some sort, maybe uh, some sort of potions in there, and uh, in his hand as well as some little stuff on the, the top of his uh, his wizard staff um, that you can't really see on the picture there, sorry about that. Uh, corn red, so I decided to do his cape as a kind of a not so bright red, a bit of um, a dull red color and I'm going to be doing the uh, the fur at the top there in, a, in an orange, just uh, figured that would be a nice change um, from your typical brown, so just to want to make this guy a bit colorful um, not over the top colorful. Okay, for the green, did Castellan green, and uh, that's all the the flesh bits there. And I'm going to be doing some some Nurgle stuff as well, um, uh, using the sort of the Nurgling uh, green colors. So it's going to be a little lighter than the rest of the orcs that I typically do, and uh, that's going to help um, differentiate my goblins from the orcs. You know, kind of a lighter green skin color and not quite as bright. Okay, so um, I also figured I'd do his hair as kind of a whitish color, so I'm using a, a nice, nice light gray there. I'm going to do that in the hair, as well as that kind of a wolf tail hanging from the uh, the staff as well. Okay, getting to some smaller colors, so uh, Jokero orange for the, uh, the fur at the back there. Each of these stages should go a bit faster, um, uh, because I'm getting into smaller and smaller areas. Rat skin flesh for that... Uh, some sort of a talon claw, I don't know, some sort of, I figured it was like a chicken's foot or something like that. Okay, uh, green wash, this is going to take a little bit longer. Um, just painting this all over all the green areas and uh, that'll finish all of that up, at least for the, the wash, get all the shades in there, uh, in the crevices and uh, tone down those colors. I find the washes also help with the transition between the two different colors. Um, you know, and I accidentally left the camera on for about uh, another minute here um, well at four times speed it's only a couple more seconds didn't realize I did that sorry and put them back on and uh, okay going on to Corborg Crimson for the for the cape and uh, yeah it's painted on a nice and thick there you can see how it pools nicely in the uh, folds of the fabric Newland oil for some of the gray areas and I do a bit on the uh, the base as well and uh, yeah, just doing that uh, wolf skin thing there. So I'm just splotting it on the base, and I'm gonna go over the whole base with uh, Agrax Earthshade, which is now. And uh, here we go with that on all the the brown bits here, as well as the the base and uh, those things that the leather bits as well. So they all get the the same Agrax Earthshade. And then the skull and uh, that sort of stuff. So at this point, I'm kind of at the the halfway point, I'd say, of the model. Getting the the washes, it's the uh, the real turning point of when things start to come together and uh, become quite noticeable. So uh, Reichlin flesh shade for the orange um, and that uh, little claw. 
and the flesh is just a kind of a, a medium brown for the oranges rather than using a red uh, just makes it a bit more realistic than instead of having a uh, you know a comic comic book orange okay touching up some of the greens and then moving on to Strikeland green or Strachan green sorry um, and now I'm starting to paint these as highlights uh, avoiding uh, some of the deeper areas and trying to blend it in a bit with the the base color green as well so this is going to take a, a little bit longer because there's lots of flesh on this model um, it's probably one of the larger of the surface areas that I need to to cover and as well you know being a goblin that's not wearing any shirt I've got bare legs uh, it's also going to be kind of the focal point of the model so I'm trying to make sure that I get everything looking pretty decent here and trying to blend it as well as I can so uh, yeah this really is one of the key steps in the model and the same would be true for you know savage orcs or or anything like that where there's um, that becomes the focal point of the whole whole miniature so you want to make sure you get it to look pretty decent okay next we're doing a uh, gorther brown for the the staff so I'm trying to paint on some uh, kind of wood greens along there and get those uh, going um, not worried about having them perfect because the the next shade uh, or the next highlight there will help uh, even those out scrag brown um, kind of, again base coating uh, minus the uh, minus the deep areas for the uh, leather bits so avoiding all the, the crevices but trying to get all the the raised surfaces um, kind of fully coated in this color going around getting all the stuff on the, the headband on the stuff hanging off the, uh, the, the staff there and of course his uh, loincloth and whatnot okay you shopty bone is going on all the bone bits and uh, this one I find is uh, it's important to blend it as much as you can it's quite a big step from the previous color um, so it can be quite uh, quite harsh differences so you have to try to blend it a little bit more uh, by watering it down a touch and making sure you don't have too much on the brush so it, it, it can be a good idea to to even mix this with a previous color um, which is Andrew Dust in that case okay Wazdaka Red going on the cape so um, uh, capes and stuff like that you also want to to make sure you try to blend it so that's uh, in this case you know trying to thin it down a little bit making sure that the high areas of the cloak are the solid color and uh, having it blend down just a touch into the crevices there and trying to preserve as much of the natural transitions as you can get okay Dawnstone uh, painting on highlights for the base there so uh, again this doesn't have to be very even uh, just trying to get it on get an impression of the stone kind of having a weathered look so it doesn't you don't actually want this to be nice and clean highlights you want it to be kind of almost a dry brush uh, really quick brushing over the surface of things okay Uthian gray for the uh, the highlights there so this is a nice really light gray and uh, this is going to end up looking like kind of white hair on that as well as the uh, that well as that little foxtail and again the reason I chose white was just to make it look stand, look like it stand out a bit and and that sort of thing troll slayer orange uh, is the the first layer of highlights for that uh, that fur and so I'm just trying to use the the side of the brush there to to pick up all those areas don't want to have to paint them on individually uh, I'm just trying to use the the texture to my advantage Okay, Bane Blade Brown, getting the, the rest of those highlights on the staff there. And, uh, you know, trying to paint these even finer than the previous one. So this one here kind of matters a bit more. gives the final impression of everything. Nurgling Green uh, for the edge highlights on all the flesh. And uh, this is going to be way less highlighting than the previous stage. So I'm just looking for the really raised areas. And uh, as you can see, the model is getting pretty close to being done now. Um... The really the rest of the stuff that I'm doing here is just to uh, to bring it to a completely finished quality um, but not adding a ton of uh, you know tabletop level difference okay squig orange for the final highlights on the cloak there so just doing really fine lines on the highest bit of highlights and trying to blend it just a touch I'm trying to bring out some of those little rips at the bottom of the cloak too 
uh, highlighting the edge of those if I can, uh, as well as the lower edge of the cloak. All right, Deathclaw Brown for the final highlights on the um, on all those leather bits, and uh, just doing what I can to try to uh, just get the very very edges of those highlights. Again, just what the light would kind of pick up, and uh, this goes a little bit slower, uh, just because it's kind of hard to get in all those areas, and you don't want you want to make sure there's not too much paint on the brush, um, and you're using the texture so as much as you can. So you're trying to use the edge of the brush. Uh, the tip of the brush so that you can kind of run it across the surface without getting right in there. Okay, again it's gold for a couple little gold details. Got some earrings, some little uh, trinkets on the staff there, and a, and a ring on his finger. Rune Vang Steel, um, I did that little uh, moon emblem as, gold, as sorry, silver and just wanted to highlight that up a bit. Screaming Skull for the final highlights on the bone. So just picking up some of the edges there. And going real quick now, the final highlights are just very fast, just trying to pick up a couple little edges of the top uh, top surfaces of things. Getting his teeth as well there, and uh, doing some of those mushrooms. Okay, Evil Sun Scarlet for his eyes, and Wild Rider Red for some highlights on those eyes. And now we got Fire Dragon Bright on the, uh, the final highlights for that uh, fur there. And... Um, I think we're just about done. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show some of the still images here. Oh, sorry, Administrium uh, Gray for the final highlights on the, the rocks there. And I'll do a little bit of white scar on the hair and stuff like that. So, yeah, coming up is the uh, the painting guide. So all the paints that I use that I'm walking you through here. And uh, all the final images like these are going to be on my blog. It's like watching paintdry.blogspot.com. You can check the liner notes for a link to that. And uh, if you have any comments, any suggestions for future videos, feel free to add those either here or there or wherever you, uh, wherever you see this posted. And uh, I'll try to, uh, try to respond to that and uh, maybe take your suggestions for the next videos. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, make sure you subscribe and check out my other stuff. See you next time.